Welcome to another Open March tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know to create shapes and segments. The first thing you need to do when you create a shape is to select the marchers that you want to be part of the shape. In this case, it'll be this whole form. When you select all those marchers, you'll see on the inspector, all the marcher names will show up. Under the marcher names, there's a button that says Create Line. Once you press Create Line, the word Alignment will show up and the very helpful instructions that say Draw a Line. Additionally, all the marchers have a subtle purple outline around them. When in alignment mode, draw a line on the canvas to represent where you want your marchers to go. Let's say I want them to go from the front hash on the 10 yard line to the front hash on the 40 yard line. Click on the front hash on the 10 and you'll notice that a purple line shows up. You can move this line around and it rounds to the nearest step currently. Hold shift for fine adjustment as you would with coordinate rounding. Click to the second location, which in this case is the 40 yard line, and you'll see a bunch of lines show up. This represents where the marchers are going to go. You can tell because these are dashed lines. As you move these marchers around, the dashed lines will follow them. And if you want to change the order of how these marchers appear in the line, they will automatically switch based on their order on the X or Y axis. All of this looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and press Create Shape. Of course, we've created a line, but not much else seems to have happened. Under the hood, a lot has happened though. You've now created your first shape. Shapes are unique in Open March because when you edit them, their relationship to other marchers stays the same. Select the shape and you'll see that purple dots show up on either end. Click and drag these purple dots and you'll notice that all of the marchers now move as a group. The astute among you might notice that these purple dots also follow our coordinate rounding settings that we set in another tutorial. If you want to have a more fine adjustment for this shape, you can again hold the shift key and you can do that without changing your rounding settings. The coordinate rounding also applies for the shape as a whole. Again, you can hold shift. Now, lines are great, but they're also kind of lame. If you want a curve, all you need to do is go to the right inspector where you see a menu called segments. Notice we only have one segment right now and it's a line. Click on line and a drop down will show up that says line, single curve, or double curve. There may be more options by the time you see it. For now, let's press single curve and you'll see that a sneaky second purple dot showed up in the middle of the line. Move this around and see the magic happen. We now have a curve that we can control the angle of with a control point, which again conforms to coordinate rounding. Now this is cool, but you probably want a little bit more control over what you can do with your curve. In this case, what you want is a double curve. Go to the same menu, click on what is now a single curve and press double curve. In this case, two control points have now shown up. This gives us a lot more control with what we can do with our curve and we can even switch and swatch them and do whatever we want. You can create some pretty funky shapes with this. While shapes in Open March are in their early stages and we hope to add a lot of new features to these soon, like circles, triangles, and normal shapes, there's actually a lot you can do with these shapes right now. For example, you can add more segments to these shapes so it's not just a single curve or double curve. To do this, go in the right inspector and press Add Segment. You'll see that another line shows up on the curve. As we move this control point, you'll notice that Open March tries to evenly distribute the marchers throughout the shape while always putting a marcher at each control point. Each segment that you create can be either a line, single curve, or double curve. Let's make this one a single curve. And if you want a shape to be closed, you can add another segment and make this one a close. And this will always go back to the first dot. Now, this is a pretty funky shape that we have going on here, but honestly, I think I've already made a masterpiece. Let's say you don't want these marchers to be in a shape anymore. You know what you've made is great, but you just want to move each marcher individually. To do this, simply select the shape as you already have, and you'll see an ungroup button on the side. Press that ungroup button, and all the marchers are now their own individual souls with free will. If you ever want to undo this, you can simply press Command-Z or on Windows, Control-Z, 
and the shape will appear back up. You can again add segments or even delete them if you want. And everything is in the undo history for you to undo any mistakes that you have. Now, one last thing, say you want to swap the position of marchers or change the order of where they are in a shape. Currently, when you try to move the position of a marcher in a shape, open march is going to be very stubborn and force you to keep it there. You can select two marchers in a shape and press swap marchers. This will show up right above the rotation dialog. You can also press Control S or on Mac, Command S. When you swap marchers, you'll see a notification on the bottom that says marchers have been swapped successfully. Swapping marchers is also something you can do across different shapes if you find that you put the wrong marcher on a shape. For example, we have two shapes here, our fantastic whale fin and then a straight line that we have up here. Let's say U9 and U13 should be swapped. Press swap, and now they're there. That's all you need to know about shapes in Open March right now. Again, this is a pretty early feature, and we're hoping to get a lot of improvements on this very, very soon. We always appreciate your feedback, so please reach out to us on the Discord or our Facebook user group for any ideas that you have. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.